I was confused because like I see how it's complementary teaching, but I didn't see how that was like parallel teaching. So can you explain to me like you guys? Like, was, Go ahead. I thought you were yes, I know this one. Um, like, um, so like you guys were attempting parallel teaching. So like, because in my mind, it, parallel teaching like it never meets because it's a parallel line. So like y'all would teach completely different things. So that's why I was like, why would you like why would it be parallel teaching? So like, what is parallel teaching supposed to mean? Well, parallel teaching, you're teaching the same thing, but using different methods. Uh, so up here, you guys had this cool little visual. Up there, uh, they did a little sort. Uh, okay. Um, no visuals. Okay. Based on their assessed needs, which I did, you know, rigorous work around uh, in preparation for this session. <laughs> um, but I think, I think you noticed a potential pitfall with that method. Because it happened with Camille and I. What's the pitfall? Like what happened? Okay, okay it could make it difficult to hear. True. And I have one more question. Yeah. So since you had a specific group with that bullet in the brain before, since you said you said you chose you created your company. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. No, she wasn't saying yes, you were responsible. She was saying, well, I'm not gonna say she said no. I think she wants you to keep going. Great information. It's going to be written in a very asset-based 
way of what the students are able to do. Uh, and it will also include any um, information about communication, if there's gross high motor concerns, uh, any health information, any social emotional information. Uh, so it's really a wealth of, of uh, knowledge here. <laughs> then you will also find when you want to look for goal pages. So this is an example of a math goal for one of my students. And it will include the baseline, which is where they started. Um, it will include a goal that's written and it's designed for the student to meet in one year's time from whenever the IP was written. Okay, so it is going to be a bit of a jump um, because you can see my baseline for her. She's using arrays to solve just multiplication fact problems. Um, and so my year-long goal for her is when given a set of 10 problems requiring the multiplication of multi-digit numbers by two-digit numbers, that she'll compute the product using manipulatives, representational drawings, or a standard algorithm with 80% accuracy. Okay, so this is a grade level goal, it's high to common core, um, and I have a year to complete with that. And speaking of that year, a question came up, wait, um, does this get updated annually? Yes, it's supposed to get updated annually. Um, IEPs um, are supposed to you're supposed to meet at least once a year um, to revise and update the goals and um, and to like note that progress supposed like that's what's supposed to happen. Yes. That's best practice and that's what the law actually requires. That is what the law requires. I mean, that's the legal requirements, the moral, ethical, professional requirement as well. Uh, and Confidential, so if you have a copy of it, it's supposed to be kept in a locked place and not shared. Uh, so we have three different types of IP goals here. Just an example. So I just want you to read through these. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah